I grew this. Let's talk about it. Growing joy. Hello, plant friends. Quick video today because I am harvesting my first potato harvest. Now, I'm harvesting a little early. This is not by any means a perfect potato harvest. This is my first time growing potatoes for a myriad of reasons I have to harvest them early, but I thought it's important as kind of a novice gardener, I'm the houseplant expert, I'm a novice gardener, that I actually show you a realistic experience my first time growing potatoes. So earlier this year, I planted three different types of seed potatoes in this enormous 15 gallon grow bag. Um, I noticed that two of the potato plants have already died back. This is one of the potatoes that hasn't. However, we have gotten a ton of rain and we're about to get more rain. And I'm very nervous that if I left the potatoes in this bag anymore that they would rot. Also, we are moving. I already announced in a different video that we're moving. I've sadly had to break my garden down early. It's the middle of August. I usually would have been able to extend my garden harvest through October in zone 6B. So I figured, you know what? Let's just get the potatoes out of this bag. I'd rather harvest a little early and have them cure than harvest and have them all be rotten. I think my heart would break. So I figured, why don't you harvest alongside me? I'm really excited. All right, well, here we go. One, I think 15 gallon grow bag yielded this many potatoes. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. I feel like this is kind of a bummer of a video. I kind of was ready for more. I mean, I did harvest them early. So I think like it makes sense that a lot of the potatoes are small because I did harvest them early. They probably, if they had a couple of more weeks, probably would have gotten a little bit bigger. But I don't know, plain friends, I was kind of expecting a larger harvest. I just had three seed potatoes, the purple and then two different white types. The purple ones are really cute, but they are, they are very small. I learned a lot. I mean, listen, I think it's a complete success because I bought some seed potatoes at the store. I had never grown potatoes before. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I read a couple of chapters of different growing books. I planted them up and I grew potatoes for my husband. He eats potatoes every day. So I think overall this was a success. I'm excited to try again. There's my wind chime. It's right above our heads. I particularly love this little baby potato. Look how little it is, so cute. From what I've researched now, I'm going to leave them to cure with the dirt on their skins for a few days before we eat them. But I have to say, my husband eats a lot of potatoes, so I feel like we'll move through this like in a week. I do feel like the beginning of growing potatoes was really fun because you put this little seed potato, you know, chit, I think it's called, in the soil. 
And you just have to trust and wait for it to find its way through the soil and grow. And then it really is a game of patience. You know, you're not waiting for a flower to bloom. You're really just waiting for these, you know, greens to kind of grow, die back and then harvest. So it's been really interesting. I've learned a lot. I feel like, I hope this isn't too much of a bummer. I'm like, this is my, I'd say mediocre potato supply, but it's year one. So in a year from now, you'll see another video from me with double the amount of potatoes in here. Oh, the other thing I did want to mention is I did, I do think we definitely had some rot because as I was going through the uh, bag, I, I saw like, I could feel some mushy potatoes and this is like potato skins with no potatoes. So I do think we had more potatoes in the bag that ended up rotting if you guys know how to avoid rot, let me know. I mean, it was just a grow bag that just got watered by the rain. We did have a lot of rain. We also have had an unseasonably hot summer, so it could have just been the growing conditions. I definitely did a set it and forget it type situation. I planted those potatoes, then kind of forgot about them. Um, so we definitely had a little bit of loss with, with some rot. So please let me know if you have any suggestions and let me know what your favorite way to eat your homegrown potatoes is. I think I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer tonight. Here is to learning new things, growing your own food, and of course, growing joy while doing so.